While there are many misnomers about women in the Army, the myths that surround a woman's service can sometimes overshadow reality. For instance, our history and service. For more than 70 years, women have broken through barriers leading to careers previously not available to them. For example, in World War II, when women temporarily served in roles that included mechanics, pilots, nurses, and ambulance drivers. But with the passage of the Women's Armed Services Integration Act in 1948, women became a permanent part of the force. It's really empowering to be a female um, as part of the ranks of Army medicine, for sure, knowing uh, its, its storied history. Eventually, in 2016, the Department of Defense opened all military jobs to women, even those in combat roles. I believe the Army is going to benefit from having women because we will succeed in any MOS. Another myth is that women join the Army because they can't do anything else. So I always had the, this dichotomous viewpoint of, of the Army. Those who didn't have anything else going for them, they enlisted. But I have since learned that that's not true. I mean, I didn't even know that the Army needed a neuroscientist. But women come to the Army from all walks of life and all backgrounds. This includes athletes, Hollywood personalities, and beauty contestants. My job is a military police officer. I also have a functional area, which is a public affairs officer. I wanted to spice things up, so the past couple years I've been trying to do that with pageantry, which involves, you know, hair, makeup, dresses, and then when I come into my army role, then I, I tighten it up and I conform to the military appearance. No one wears a uniform all the time, including women. During off-duty hours, women will wear any number of stylish and or comfortable outfits without combat boots. They are not required to cut their hair short. They could still wear jewelry and nail polish. And if they want to, women can get married and start families. I'm actually married. I have two children. I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old. Also, people think when you join the Army, you get whatever job they give you. Unlike some of its sister services, you get to pick your Army job. Your interests and career goals can be matched within your Army service time. I fly Black Hawk helicopters. I'm doing something I never thought I would do. And every flight, I'm learning something new. And while some people may like the idea of a full-time career in the Army, the Army Reserve is a better fit for those who want to serve part-time. So in 2012, I rejoined the military by joining the Army Reserve because I wanted to serve and still be able to have a family and be with my children. Additionally, while you may be away from home, it's a myth that you would be by yourself. Not only do you make lifelong friends, the Army offers a variety of recreational opportunities, religious services, and community support programs to assist with almost every aspect of life. It also takes very seriously the laws that make discrimination illegal and believes that equal opportunity should be available for all. It's this place of all inclusivity and, and equal opportunity that you don't really see as much in the civilian world. Unlike popular opinion may imply, Army installations aren't all barracks and parade fields. They have world-class healthcare facilities, libraries, gyms, leisure activities like bowling, swimming, but movies, and opportunities to travel. The Army has allowed me to travel to a lot of different places, my favorite being Germany. I was able to leave the country for the first time because of the Army and able to see a different culture and beautiful sight. And there are educational opportunities offered through colleges and universities on all Army installations, so you can get your associate's, bachelor's, and even master's degree. No matter where you're stationed, you can use your GI benefits and continue your education. The military has great programs with regards to education. I say that because I'm a West Point grad, so I obviously got my bachelor's degree from the military. But then the Army sent me back to school as a captain to get my master's degree. So I have my master's in civil engineering thanks to the military. So with the Army, it's a constant educational growing experience. Also, while women may have to fight to get the same pay as men in civilian careers, in the Army, everyone within each rank gets the pay for that rank, regardless of gender. The jobs available in the Army are limitless and are all open to women. Even its special forces options are open to women if they meet the basic qualifications. In 2015, 19 of us were allowed to attend Ranger School. Chris and Shay graduated in August, 
and I graduated in October. And most of the jobs in the Army translate to jobs in the civilian sector. You can enter the market with several years of experience, education, and with many Army jobs, certifications. Any profession you've ever dreamed of, you can do it through the Army. Joining the Army allowed me to get the training, education that I needed to get my career started, and I was able to start a family with a career already in place. Whether you're single or married, and whether you wish to serve part-time or full-time for a few years or establish a career, don't let the myths keep you from a successful career in the U.S. Army.